welcome to the final dungeon of this game. Using the power of the seven maidens, you break the spell on this place, which for some reason releases a staircase. I don't know. It was Ganon's right here. Okay, you gotta go downstairs first in this place. And you get some pretty nifty tricks. So laugh on this return, but they're nowhere near as a threat anymore. Actually, they were never a threat. So, just kill them and move on. Again, theories return. And again, I don't think they were ever missing from a dungeon in the Dark World. More puzzles using the hook shot, and I automatically fail. Another good note is that you can't kill Stilaphilus with the hook shot. I probably brought that up quite a bit. But it's a pain when you try to use it, and they just stun instead of dying. that Ganon leaves treasure chests full of bombs, arrows, and money around in his lair. What a nice guy. Once again, can't kill him. Goody! Another once again, Ganon steals his traps from Bowser. Unfortunately, Mario never had a magic cape. That would have made a lot of Super Mario Brothers levels a whole lot easier. Oh look, a hammer brother! Poof! Walk past him. Yay, crystal switch puzzles. Because I love them so much. More puzzles where you're required to bomb things. Like this one, which is kind of cool. The objective is to bomb them so they both trigger. And do it, but not like that. to bomb it, but this seems like a trap. Ah, screw it. Oh, God. Hmm. Okay. Nobody saw that. I totally did not just walk off an edge there. Ah, shut up. Like, that's the stupidest thing I've done so far. I could forget the basic Legend of Zelda trick. Just push a block in, he'll move forward. You can build up quite a good collection of keys in this dungeon. Ah, I'm starting to see where Sabrina's, uh, gym takes its, uh, roots from. I almost ran off another ledge there. And, 
<laughs> now I did. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Best way to get rid of buffer beetles is to push them off ledges. More warp tile frolics. And now we're into a nifty room. Oh, bugger. Any good. Yeah, there's obviously a hidden path there. Using the ether medallion, you see exactly where it is. And using a charge attack, you can apparently kill the beetles. Huh. Didn't... Whoa. Know that. Wow. I'm stupid, I'm gonna try it. Wow. Amazing! I was able to walk through that little gap. Here's the problem with Ether Medallion it drains your magic. So we have to learn where to go. God. Wow. I'm still shocked I got through that with the amount of magic I did. And now I have nothing. This dungeon does have one neat trick. Or, not trick, but thing to it. Huh. And that, I think, is coming right up. You have to fight all the light world bosses. Only with different scenarios. I'm not gonna write the uh, light world bosses, but just to say this whole level is a giant rehash of the light world. Ah, uh, should be good to note I watched. I came straight here from a uh, turtle rock. I have nothing in my inventory for fairies, obviously. Except for the one I just caught. Yay, the Armorous Knights! With ice! And believe it or not, these guys are more of a pain on ice, but there's one little problem. Yep, one arrow kills them. Yeah, that is not a good thing. And yes, I did upgrade the arrows to the silver arrows. But, wow. One silver arrow takes them out. Please let Moldworm be the same way. So the big key's in the middle one. I wonder what's in the other two. Okay, bombs. Arrows. That's nice. Made up for all the arrows that just wasted killing your armorous knights, Ganon. Thank you. Hmm, I cracked. Whoa, that's totally gotta be a clue to something. <gasps> a secret passage! <gasps> Berries! Say this is the only game that spells fairies. F A E I F A E R I E. And the rest of them kind of just went with the normal spelling, and I fell down a hole again. I should keep a counter on how many times I do stupid things during my uh, runs. However, that counter would be extremely high. The red mail, and more proof that I have pink hair because it's still pink. 